Hello everybody, this is SC Benny, and today I am going to show you how to make split screen videos using ULead Video Studio Plus version 11. So let's get started. We're going to launch our ULead Video Studio 11 software. And this is going to come up with a menu here that for some reason my uh, screen capture software is not bringing up. And it's going to have three options. You're going to choose Video Studio Editor. And it's going to take a few seconds to come up here. I've had a lot of uh, requests and questions about how I make these split screen videos with other musicians on YouTube. And I had a few people who uh, had some questions with how the interface works and how the software works so I thought I'd make a tutorial video to help you guys out. So okay you got a basic interface that uh, opens up with the program. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna I'm gonna show you uh, how to make uh, let's say a drum and guitar split screen video and let's get uh, going on this so we uh, choose our load video folder up here and we're going to do uh, it's the Nickelback Animals uh, video I did with Eric SES on YouTube. Great drummer. Uh, go check out his uh, videos on his channel. I'm sure he'd appreciate it. So what we're going to do is we're going to open up his drum video here. And then we need to open my guitar video right here. Okay, so I got the two videos opened in the program I want to use for the video. Next thing we need to do over here is choose Timeline View. It's going to bring up a timeline down here. And then we're going to go over here to the Overlay Track Manager. And as you can see, you can do up to six overlays. And we're just going to do two, so we choose Overlay Track 2. Hit OK. And it put a second overlay line down here. So what we do is I'm going to drag Eric's drum video down to the first timeline and when you do that in the preview window here it's going to ask you pretty much uh, where you want to put this video so what I do is I right click on the video and you got a bunch of different options here we're going to keep it at the center and put it left okay now we're going to drag my guitar video down to the second timeline and then we're going to put mine center right okay um, as you can see here you have um, some options here you can resize the videos uh, if you want I usually leave them the same but in this case uh, it looks like Eric's drum video was done in widescreen so I want to make those match so I could either shrink mine down to match his or I could expand his to match mine so I think I'll expand his and we're going to click on his drum video and then you can see the box came around his video it means we're editing his video so I'm going to click these lines drag them a little bit and match them pretty close that's pretty close okay so we've got our videos in our timeline ready to go next thing you're gonna do is you wanna move these and sync them up you just drag them and move them along the timeline until you get both videos synced up to where they're playing at the right parts of the song that's depending on how many videos you got with just two you might be able to get them synced up in a few minutes when you've got some of the ones I've done like four or six it can take quite a while and uh, it's a lot of work um, so it's pretty easy you just drag these along to get them just right you can magnify the timeline here so that you can uh, fine-tune them a little bit right now they're in second intervals if I was to click the plus button it will bring them to tenth of second intervals so it's a little easier to fine-tune the syncing of, uh, of where your videos are at. So I'm going to go ahead and change this back to the way it was. So once you get these all synced up, you're ready to go. If you need to edit one of the video's audio, like let's say uh, the, guitar, the guitar audio is way too loud. Let's say it's too loud for the drums. So what I can do is click on my guitar video down here and choose edit and it'll bring it up here and you can see it's in editing mode now 
and here's the volume uh, master volume for that track let's say I wanted to change it to 50 maybe 100 was too loud oops sorry there's a couple different options you can do in here but uh, you can just click in here change the volume of it and let's say that was just right or if you wanted to change uh, Eric's drum here you could click on the other video and you know change his to let's say 75 okay so that's how we can do the volume of the tracks and this is how we move them along to sync them up okay so if you need to uh, cut a track down while it's in here what you do is you can just let's say this is where they're synced up here uh, and I want to split them so that the part of the track I don't want anyone to see is gone click on your timeline here where you want to do that and it's going to take a second and hit these scissors right here it says cut clip based on jogger speed and you'll see it'll split these videos up and then once it splits them you can click on the part you don't want highlight it hit the delete key on your keyboard and get rid of this one here delete that one and if they were synced up you should be able to move them back to the start of the video otherwise you'll have a blank screen when the video starts and you do the same thing uh, towards the end of the video your video is probably uh, won't end at the exact same time unless you get lucky so like here these don't end at the same time so we can do the same thing right here click a place you want to cut those together if that was the end of the song and that's where the end of the video is uh, that you wanted do the same thing click on the timeline where you want to split them hit the scissors button and then you can click on those to highlight them and hit delete so get rid of that one and click on the guitar video here that was split and hit the delete key on the keyboard and get rid of that one okay so once you've you've gotten your tracks in here you've edited the audio uh, uh, you've gotten your volumes just right they're all synced up you're you're done you've clipped them it looks great it's nice and heavy sounding good and you're ready to save your video you go over here to the share tab click create video file and what I do is you can, you can choose any option here you can do an MPEG uh, a Windows Media File all kinds of stuff what I do uh, is I go to custom I choose Windows Media Video and hit options click the profile tab and on the takedown box here I choose the Windows Media Video 8 1400 kilobits per second option hit OK type in what you want to call the video and hit save and it will take um, roughly if this is like a three minute song it'll take about ten minutes maybe to save the whole video and that's pretty much it you're done there's a lot of other things you can do in the software I don't use most of it um, some of it's really not that good the, the one thing this this software is good for is easily manipulating the videos and syncing them up with the timeline here um, what you can do if you want is you can sync up the video in this program and take the audio extract the audio from your videos and um, sync those up on another program and then just insert them in this program later if you need to say do some EQ cuts on your audio or add any kind of effects because this software will not do that for you uh, but it is it is good for getting the videos uh, multiple videos on the screen and synced up so I hope this helped everybody out if anyone has any questions still uh, go ahead and give me a message on my YouTube channel and I'll be glad to help you out so thanks a lot for watching guys and have a good day